Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today we are back with another monthly review video. I did skip two months, which is the first time, honestly, I think since 2020, which is insane, but I am finally bringing it back. So this is, I guess, an accumulation of some of my favorite products in the last few months. So in today's video, we're going to be doing some usual categories. So we're gonna have jewelry, beauty. Most importantly, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite designer bags, arguably probably the favorite designer bag of all of my bags actually right now um, that I recently got and has become a favorite and then also some of my favorite travel and home products. So starting with our first category as usual, it is going to be jewelry. So starting with some of my favorite Majuri products, this month I have two rings and one bracelet and I also have two new products that I just got from Majuri, so not reviewable at this moment, but there are my two recent products that I just received. So starting with the first product, I don't remember some of the names, so I'm just gonna put it on the side along with the pricing as usual for you guys to check out. The first one is this new updated diamond ring. Honestly, this is a new design, and when I saw it, I was just absolutely obsessed with it. It kind of reminds me of a crown, but in a ring form. I just love the detailing of the square that goes evenly all around. It just really reminds me of royalty and just really looks like a crown but on your finger so I just love this as a statement piece I think it's a really good ring to wear on its own or even layer up despite the detailing here it is still extremely extremely easy to layer so I'm gonna just show you guys right here this also brings me to my next favorite ring of this month this one I recently got this one is so dainty I actually don't know if I already reviewed this ring but it's honestly because it's been so long but I got this ring and I have absolutely been obsessed with it it's very very thin and it just has this rope detailing that you guys know I love it's a little bit different than the one that I have on my thumb already which is just like the spheres um, the mini spheres that I always have on my thumb but this one just seems more like I can't really even describe it but it just genuinely looks like a rope to me and I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. So this one is also super easy to layer and I think it also looks really good with the ring that I did just talk about. So it's such a cute combination and I'm just very, very into rings that have different types of textures that isn't just plain as you guys can also see from this other Majuri ring that I have right here. It just has these like curvatures. I think it's just so cute. So together out of all the rings that I have, I have the sphere version, I have this one, and then now this one is another really dainty addition to the family that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Moving on to the bracelet that I have been loving this month. So the bracelet that I've been loving is this chain bracelet here. This one, as you guys can see, I have it next to the Boyfriend Bold Chain Bracelet, and this one you can see is even bigger and more statement-y, and this might actually look familiar because this really, really reminds me of the necklace version, and you guys know, if you have watched my other videos before, that I have just been super obsessed with that necklace, and it caught me off by surprise because initially in the picture, I really, really didn't think I would ever get that necklace, especially because it looks huge in pictures pictures but when you get it in person it looks super dainty I think the bracelet actually has an opposite effect I think in the pictures it almost looks dainty but in person it's a little bit bigger and I actually really really like it because I think sometimes the bracelets are a little bit hard to see but this one is definitely a statement bracelet, but it is still in solid gold, so you don't have to take it off. And surprisingly, I was actually really concerned that maybe like it would be uncomfortable if I was writing because I'm right-handed, but it has not bothered me at all. I journal practically every day. I have my five minute journal that I've been raving about. So I journal every day, um, short journal and long journal, and it has never really bothered me. I just want to add that as a point as well. Um, so I've always kept this on. So all the products that I have been talking about so far are all solid gold jewelry. And another point is that this is also something that you can also hang charms off of. I haven't done that yet, but this is definitely another option that you can do. So there's definitely a lot of versatility to it and you can also kind of like switch it up and it doesn't have to just be a plain bracelet. On to the next two products that I had just received from Majuri. So once again, this isn't really part of the review, but I definitely wanted to share with you what it is so I got this new solid gold chain and this is a chain that literally 
looks nothing like the existing chains that my jury has been carrying so i thought that was really really refreshing i feel like this chain is just it just reminds me like of a like a typical tag chain type of thing. I think this chain actually would look super cute on its own, but also if you have one of those like tags, I think that would look really, really cute. I feel like this is also really great for men as well. I think the style like would work well for both genders. And then um, especially if you pair it with a chain. However, the pendant that I did decide to pair it with is this one right here. This is the eye chain. This one has the turquoise color that I absolutely love and also some mini diamond details. So this one I know doesn't look identical to the evil eye, but honestly the concept to me at least is sort of the same. And I know a lot of people, the evil eye has recently been taking over social media. A lot of people have actually started adding it next to their usernames or their names on Instagram. And I'm just like, actually that's pretty smart. I feel like I should do that too. But anyway, this is just kind of like a cute little way that you can have it on yourself for every single day. It also has such a luxe feel because of the diamonds and the entire design is super cute. If you guys aren't crazy about the diamonds, they have another version that doesn't have diamonds, so you can definitely check that out as well. But as you guys know, I just absolutely love Majuri's diamond collections. I have added that into this pendant as well. Okay, moving on to the next product, I am super excited to share with you my recent designer bag purchase that I've been using all of this month. I used it all throughout my trip in Asia, but it is this Bottega bag right here. This is the cassette bag. I'm not going to go into too much of why I like it because I have an entire dedicated video planned for you. Hopefully by the time you see this video, the bag review is already up, but I'm going to go very, very much in detail of why I love this bag. But the pretty much the gist of it is that honestly, I just wanted a luxury casual bag and this one was so practical. I just honestly am able to wear it with everything without it being super flashy and it's extremely comfortable. So if you guys are interested in checking out the in-depth review, make sure you go ahead and check out that video. So I wanted to move on to the category of my three new favorite travel products. And the reason why I wanted to share with you some of my new travel products is because all of February I was traveling. So it was very important for me to share with you. Okay, starting with the first product I wanted to share with you is this product right here. I know if you are just looking at it, you're you're probably a little confused as to what it is. So first of all, it is the turtle pillow and I got it this year for Valentine's Day for my boyfriend for my travels. And essentially this product was probably the favorite, the most favorite product that I had this entire trip. And let me explain to you why. So first of all, unlike a lot of these travel pillows that you guys can find at the airport, they're all very cushiony and you have to put it all around your neck and it just takes up so much space. This item right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, even though there is a little bit of a curvature, but it is extremely, extremely flat. I absolutely love it. Not only is it extremely easy to pack, but it is also really, really light. So it doesn't really add any weight onto your current bags. I feel like the only little problem is that this isn't the most aesthetic like product. I've seen the TikToks of girls just having all these travel products that all happen to be beige or pink. So that's not the vibe here, but if you are actually looking for like genuine comfort and practicality, then this is the product for you. So the first thing and why this is different from your airport neck pillows, not only because of the size or because of the weight, but also the way that this holds your neck up is that it holds it up so much higher than those neck pillows. I feel like with those type of neck pillows, you're still kind of twisting your neck a little bit higher. The way that this one works is you pretty much unwrap it. So you start off, there's instructions right here. So you start off putting it in the area that you want. So let's just say you want to lean your head to, to the left like this. You would then take this and follow along as it says back of neck. So you're going to put it in the back of the neck and then you wrap this all the way around. Personally, I like to wrap this around my neck like super tight because I feel like when I wrap it super tight, it gives me like all the support that I needed so I can just like sleep like this. Trust me when I say 
I literally had a 15 hour flight from Singapore to San Francisco and I had a middle seat. I almost, when I saw that I got the middle seat because I don't know why in United, even if you pre-check in, you don't get to choose a seat, like they will assign it for you. Or I guess if too many people have already prepaid for a seat, then there's none of the good seats left. So I was stuck in a middle seat for a 15 hour flight and this thing saved my ass because honestly, I was able to sleep the entire flight. I barely noticed the discomfort just because it made it so much easier for me to fall asleep. So anyway, I highly recommend, um, I know I shared this on Instagram and a lot of you guys were super interested in this product as well. So I'm here to say that it actually is very, very worth it. The second product that I'm going to be sharing with you is this product right here. I've actually had this for months. Sorry, I'm just gonna cut it and say, why is there a tag in the front and a tag in the back? <laughs> because okay oh this is actually another favorite i got these name stickers in taiwan and the reason i have this is because i travel with groups of people all the time and me and sarah if you guys watch the vlogs you guys know sarah's my content creator friend she has the exact same because it's good that's why it's in this video she has the exact same tripod and we always get our tripods mixed up. Whenever we shoot outside together, we're always like, is that your tripod? Is that my tripod? So I'm like, honestly, screw this. I got her a set of name tags and I also got myself some name tags because I just don't like having my stuff like just mixed up with everybody. I also got the name tags to to put on all of my electronics because like I said, whenever I travel and I have my chargers in communal areas, everyone always confuses their chargers with, with each other. So pretty much I started getting these name tags. But anyway, back to the tripod. This is, I guess, a more for like a creator or a small business, or if even if you honestly just wanna take pictures when you're on vacation, this is such a great product because unlike some of the other tripods out there, and trust me, I've owned a fair share number of tripods. A lot of them are extremely, not just not aesthetic, but also just extremely awkward to carry around just because it's like, there's all these like bumps and like even the top is like sticking out, etc. So I really, really love Love the design of this tripod. This tripod is now kind of like a staple in the creator community. If you're interested in other products that I own, by the way, besides just this one, I have a page lisaway.com slash equipment and you can see every single product that I use to film my stuff, except for this YouTube video because it's not my stuff, but you know, at least for the vlogs and all the stuff that I use for Instagram, you can find on my website. So back to this tripod, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So first of all, it obviously can come all the way up. It actually goes extremely high and this thing then becomes the stand to hold your phone. Over here, what I love about it is that the remote that is connected that is a bluetooth remote to help you take pictures is connected to the tripod this is so key because in the past i would get these tripods and then the remote would be just on the side and i would always lose the remote so by having this here is just so amazing and another reason is because most of the remotes that come with typical tripod they use batteries rather than being rechargeable and I feel like that's so bad for the environment. So I really like the, how this one is actually rechargeable. As you guys can see here, you can recharge this remote so you don't have to keep on buying batteries. It, I also just think that's like a hassle and it's really, really annoying. Just by making this rechargeable is amazing. So the bottom here, if you just press this button, mine personally is just a little bit wonky because I've had this, I feel like for over a year now, I've just never shared with you guys. So I've like put it in the beach, like in sand. So it's just a little crusty on the inside that's totally my fault but then once you stretch this up like this you it just like stands on the ground and you can shoot your pictures like this anyway if you guys are ever thinking about becoming a creator yourself or if you're starting a small business and you need it for so your social media I feel like this is a really really great product oh sorry the last point I wanted to make about this is that this is extremely easy to put in like a suitcase or a backpack unlike some of the other tripods because like I said it doesn't just have like a bunch of components sticking out so this is extremely easy to pack which is why it is in my travel category so the 
other type of tripods I'll just leave at home. I always have multiple sets and this one is particularly for me when I'm traveling. Okay, so the next and last item that I wanted to share with you is a speaker. So out of all the times I have traveled in 2022, the one thing that I didn't ever have for myself was a speaker and it was fine when I was traveling with other people because I would always use other people's speakers. But the one thing that I didn't have for myself, especially when I was solo traveling was a speaker. So I ended up putting it on my Christmas wish list and my brother got this for me. So this is the speaker by Marshall and I just absolutely love this speaker. First of all, I think it is so aesthetically pleasing. To be honest, I did ask for the white one, which I think matched my vibe a little bit more because I just have everything I feel like is like white and light beige and like etc but this one is still really really sleek i feel like this has more of a moody vibe and i just know that for my future home is going to be very moody so i think this one's gonna fit a future aesthetic but the speaker itself is absolutely amazing the sound quality is amazing and i just feel like this is actually a pretty good size for traveling so i feel like most people whenever i see their portable speaker the one that they have is the ue boom or whatever it is but i just feel like it's not as pretty and I think it's like harder to stand up but anyway I if that matters to you at all it matters to me so I really like this one because I think it's a lot cuter and more so we care about our audio quality so do you think that audio quality is better than this one because this one's really amazing yes really uh-huh Okay, whatever. People I get it for a reason. Okay, if you want that one, apparently it is better for audio quality, but this is my video and I'm saying I really like this one. The person that it's my video, I'm recording. <laughs> so the person that influenced me to get this is actually Leisha because the entire time we were in Portugal, we used her speaker and I got to experience it for a really long time, which is how this ended up in my Christmas wish list and not the UE boom. Okay. But anyway, that being said, there's another speaker I actually also added onto my wish list. And it was funny because when we were in Hawaii, Safe already had the speaker, but it was the JBL clip. That was another one that I really wanted because that speaker is not only water proof but the fact that it clipped onto anything was so good for traveling so oh yeah. is this speaker waterproof i don't think so and that's why everybody gets the ue because that is waterproof oh really oh yeah i feel like you're de-influencing this product in this video but that's, anyway that's what i'm here for Okay, so you guys heard it on here first. It is up to you to decide what you want, but personally, I don't know, I still really like this one. Um, you can also get this for the home in a bigger size, or if you just want this in this size, like it doesn't have to be a travel one. It's just, I liked it for traveling. Anyway, the other one that I actually really like for traveling, which I don't have here because it's not mine, like I said, um, is the JBL clip because that one honestly is not only is it waterproof, but also you can clip it onto anything. So I especially found it really useful when you're biking and you just want to like clip it onto your bag or your backpack. Even as I was traveling around, how I had carried it was instead of taking up any type of real estate in my backpack, I actually just clipped it on the handle of my backpack at the top so it really didn't take up much room and i just feel like if you are going on trips that have a lot of hiking you can just clip it onto your backpack instead of holding onto it so anyway those are my two favorite speakers and i guess also if you want to get the ue boom the last product i want to share with you that has been essential for me is a portable charger so i feel like this was long overdue if you guys saw the what's in my bag video you guys will know that my entire life is on my phone my car key is my phone my house key is my phone so the fact that i didn't have a portable charger was pretty risky on my end because if my phone dies then i pretty much can't get into anything so it was literally long overdue for me to get a portable charger since then i think because i manifested a portable charger i got a plethora of portable chargers first my brother got me one for christmas second i found an old one that i thought i lost so then I had two. Then when I was in Taiwan, my cousin's husband also gave me one. So the one that ended up being on top is this one right here. And even though it's not the exact same thing because he got it from Taiwan, but I will link a very similar one from Amazon right here. But the portable charger that he got me is this one right here. And I'm gonna talk about what I love about it. So the first 
and foremost thing is that everything is included in this portable charger. You do not have to go out of your way to stick any more cords in it, which I think is just so phenomenal because you can just carry the one product without having to think about anything else. This also comes with a built-in wall charger, so you can directly stick this portable charger inside. And lastly, it comes with two separate types of cords. So it comes with the iPhone cord as well as a USB-C. So even if you are just traveling around and other people sort of need to borrow your portable charger, you can also lend it to your friends that don't have an iPhone, but why would you have friends that don't have an iPhone anyway? It's beyond me, but anyway, if you do have friends that don't have an iPhone, you can also give them this one and be a good friend. And as you can see, I stuck my name tag on this as well because if someone tried stealing this from me, I'm gonna come after you. So anyway, you can find the similar product on my Amazon shop, which by the way, you can check out also all the other equipment and tech and everything else in all the categories that I own from Amazon. But this one has been such a game changer for me as well. And I'm even using it here today because I'm not at home and I'm in a studio. So I am charging my phone with my portable charger. Before I get into beauty, I wanted to share probably my favorite home product so far. So this one you guys have probably seen through TikTok, but it is, I promise you, not underhyped. So I have been loving the Stanley water bottle. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. So this one, first of all, I'm gonna describe all the reasons why I love this. The first thing is that I got the bigger version. So I believe I got the 40 ounces. And this is because I personally like to use it mostly for the home. I am home most of the time and I just like that this encourages me to drink water and I get to like carry it with me everywhere because I just found that whenever I used to use just regular cups, I would always run out of water and then I would be too lazy to get up and get more water. So then I just felt like I wasn't getting my water intake that I really, really wanted. Then I switched over to Swell. It was something else my brother had gotten me for Christmas. And for the Swell, even though I actually did love it and it was a sufficient amount, but still not as big as this one. But the reason I didn't like the Swell as much is because you can't put it in the dishwasher. You have to hand wash the product. But the reason why I also like the Swell is because I started drinking more warmer water rather than just not even lukewarm, not even room temperature, actual warm, like from a scale of one to like burning hot, it was probably like a seven. So usually I like to have my water around 40 degrees Celsius. I know that is so specific, but I have a kettle that tells you um, how hot your water is. That is my ideal temperature, 40 degrees Celsius for water. And the reason why I've been drinking warm water is just because um, it has been helping me with just, I don't know, like being a female and it's just not good to drink cold water for your menstrual cycle. And there's just like all these health benefits from drinking warm water. So you just, you just look it up, okay? Even Hailey Bieber started drinking warm water, but this is like a highly- Isn't she canceled? She's canceled. But before she was canceled, this was, this article went viral, okay? But anyway, the point is, this is actually like a very old, like Chinese medicine thing. In Asian culture, nobody drinks ice water. So, Ever since I switched to warm water, I feel like it's really, really helped me a lot. So all of my water is usually like boiled to 40 degrees exactly. And then I put it in my Stanley cup. This obviously helps you insulate hot beverages and cold. As you guys know now, I use it mostly for the hot function. It also holds so much water. It also has this feature where it kind of just like goes down at the end. So it is perfect for your car seat. And then this also comes with a straw, which honestly also encourages me to drink more water because I could just be typing on the computer and just be like sipping on my water instead of like having to pick up my water bottle and drink it. So I think that also really encouraged me to have a higher water intake. But if you guys don't want the straw, the lid, you can also take the straw off and you can also twist it over and it has this opening. So you can just drink your water from there as well or whatever other beverage you are choosing to put in there. And then lastly, my favorite feature about this entire product is the fact that you can put it in the dishwasher. Honestly, I will hand wash a lot of stuff, but one of the things I absolutely hate hand washing is any type of water bottle and any type of straw. Like I hate washing those things. I just feel like those items 
items are just a little bit too detailed for my liking and I just would rather hand wash a pot and I never really hand wash anything else. Everything goes in my dishwasher. So I just love that this is dishwasher safe whilst still being able to preserve your hot and cold drinks. Okay, finally moving on to beauty. So if you guys are in my emailing list, you guys will know that I have been testing out some medical grade skincare products. And some of the medical grade skincare products that I have been absolutely loving is definitely the ones by Vivier. As you guys can see, this has lived its life. Okay, this coloring is like coming off because it's been thrown around in my makeup bag all month as I was traveling. But these two products are from Vivier and they all have a vitamin C component to it. What I love most about this product is that because of the potency of the product, it actually is pretty worth it to try medical grade skincare products. Even if it's not your cup of tea, I definitely think it's worth a try just because it might just end up working a lot more effectively and efficiently than some other skincare products. But at the same time, because a lot of medical grade skincare products are a little bit concentrated, a little goes a long way, which is another reason and why money wise it actually ends up being quite worth it so the two like i said that i wanted to mention this particular time that i really noticed the difference was the Vivier products. These ones both focus so much on vitamin C and I've noticed this month a lot of people have commented that my skin just seemed a lot brighter. So this is what vitamin C is for. For the vitamin C serum in particular, I just love, love, love the consistency of it because a lot of vitamin C products are quite sticky. This one is more liquidy and I feel like it really just gave a really nice layer to my skin without making it feel like I'm adding a lot of skincare products because a lot of the products can be really really thick so if I just show you guys right here the product itself you don't have to use a lot at all and you can see it's very liquidy and when you blend it out it just melts directly into your skin like so lastly the vitamin c moisturizer this one i love using before makeup if you guys have watched my videos in the past you will know that before makeup i love the type of moisturizers that are lighter so definitely not cream based those ones i like to see for nighttime because those ones are thicker i find that it'll be more moisturizing and more like a mask for when i'm sleeping but this one is such a light little layer and it is just once again a little goes a long way and it is perfect before your makeup the next product I wanted to highlight to you guys is the Caudalie hand cream. This hand cream, even compared to some of their other hand creams owned by Caudalie, this one is by far my favorite because first of all, as someone with eczema, I think part of the reason my eczema just keeps on getting agitated is because, okay, first of all, it comes up during the winter only in Toronto. Like when it's summer, it goes away. But whenever it is winter, with in combination with the pH levels here of the water just being extremely high and or is it low? I can't even remember. One of them. I just know that Toronto is on one of the extreme ends. So it dries out your skin a lot faster. And also because of the cold air and the dryness, it also dries out your skin a lot faster. So I have a lot of eczema in the winter, but my issue is I don't like putting on hand cream because I just feel like it gives me this like really sticky feeling whenever I'm trying to do things. So I'm very picky with hand creams. This one is by far my favorite hand cream, but the only thing that I don't like about it is still the size. I feel like this this is like a medium sized hand cream. It isn't as big as like the Kiehl's hand salve for the big size version. Compared to some other travel size products, you can still tell that it is still a lot bigger. So it's very difficult for me to put in my smaller purses. So I end up not being able to carry it around with me everywhere, but I definitely use this at home a lot and I have it beside the bathroom. The reason why I really like this hand cream is because the scent is grapefruit. So I feel like it is so refreshing. And in addition, the hand cream itself is actually very very lightweight and almost feels very watery so I don't constantly feel like I have something on me compared to some of the other really really thick hand creams I feel like the biggest thing for me about this hand cream that honestly makes me love it so much is at the end of the day the scent of the hand cream so anyway if you guys want to check out this hand cream definitely try it out because I feel like this is a very underrated product and nobody talks about it but um, it is definitely one of my favorite hand creams okay. Okay, so the next product I want to talk about is actually the Dior lip oil. So this one, I'm sure you guys have also all seen this product all throughout TikTok and for a while it was sold out. And I'm here to also verify
verify that this is honestly worth every single penny because as you guys can see i am almost done the product it is just it was lying flat so if it actually goes down it is literally up to here now the only thing i don't like about this packaging is i feel like when you close the product sometimes the product kind of leaks out that's like the only thing i don't like about it but the formula is beautiful and i think one of the reasons i really like this compared to lip glosses is i've noticed that with lip glosses when you put it on it really dries out your skin whereas when you use the dior lip oil even after you take it off your skin is still extremely hydrated so for me i just absolutely love this product and in all of hawaii i didn't even put on any other lipstick so for today's incident i would put on lip liner and lipstick and then i would put the dior lip oil and when I first got this product, the color that I got is actually 012 Rosewood, which is very much not this color. But once you start putting it on top of lipstick, you're kind of like diluting the color. So by the time I got to Hawaii, the color that I was using is this like new mixture that I had made myself. The color itself is beautiful and the shine itself is also beautiful. So in Hawaii, I didn't have any lip liner, any lipstick, and it just gave me this very nice, refreshing, glossy feel. So if you're more into, you know, like more just like lighter makeup, more everyday makeup, I think this is definitely something that is really great and it also won't dry out your lip when you're done using it. But that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that the monthly review videos are back and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.